Michelin Guide is the most famous food guide in the world. Um, and I think the power of the guide stems from the fact that when it was first released, it was when people first started uh, road travel. So the whole thing of one star meaning um, worth a stop, two meaning worth a detour, and three meaning worth a special trip, meant an awful lot. Because in those days, you know, to get from one end of France to the other by car took you days. You could probably fly to Australia quicker than that. But there was no other guide at the time that attempted to do that. So it's got the tradition. Um, and I think that whatever anybody says, any aspiring chef dreams of having a Michelin star. I certainly did. And I remember when I got the first star, it was kind of, I had to pinch myself. You know, I kind of grew up following the great chefs of France. And then to find yourself in the same red book that they are in, it's just incredible. Once you've got a star, you really don't want to lose it. So the only way of trying not to lose it is striving to get better. And this is where the guide works really well. It's obviously there for the customer. It's not there for the restaurant. Um, but it ends up, the guide has ended up driving quality of cooking up because chefs, it keeps them something to focus on because every year, anyone that's got one doesn't want to lose one. And anyone that hasn't got one secretly would like to have one.